ain't letting her perish aboard the Titanic because there was no lifeline for our ancestors. Again, hit that like button, share and subscribe, and don't forget our ancestors who died on the Titanic. Black Titanic. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Grandma's house. This is Black Titanic, y'all. I just got to watching <clears throat> Hey Girl, Hey interview with Martell Holtz. And so I'm like, wow, he remind me of the guys that I wrote about in my book. When I wrote The Thug's Passion, it was for me to heal. One thing Arian did say, she said, you older women act like y'all haven't went through anything. Yes, Arian, we went through, I went through a lot with men. But my problem with you is your arrogance and your entitlement and your disrespect. That's my problem. Anyway, you can have this book for free if you want it. Anyway, let me read to y'all what's going on. The Thug's Passion is about women who love to date bad guys. That's just see. Women who love bad guys. He's handsome. Wears a three-piece suit. Or he wears his jean off his butt. A jailhouse tattoo. Gold chain around his neck. He also has this three-piece suit on, y'all. He hangs out on the street corner. He can hang out in the boardroom as well. He can hang out on the basketball court. With his grill showing, smiling and hustling, scheming and cunning people. Convinced that you are in love, passion at night. Like chocolate. You crave him. Or like an addict who needs that next hit. You crave him. And you know he's the last thing that a nice girl like you needs. Cause one adventure with him can get you killed or put in prison. But the thug's passion is your world. Yeah, ladies. And also, also, uh, women are thugs, too. I see Arian as a, a female thug, allegedly. But anyway, the thug's passion is your world. They're charming. I, I mean, I can, I've seen interviews with, with, with Martel where he is so charming, especially at, at his mother's house when he was cooking. Now, if you didn't know him, you were like, what a charming man. Anyhow, the thug's passion about women who love to date bad guys, and they, they really do like to date bad guys. That's what they go for, that tough boy persona. A lot of women do. But in my case, I'm going to tell y'all why this book was. I was dating a lot of guys. What we just saying over oh, a period of, of years, and they always dogging me out and cheating on me and beating me physically, and um, not my last husband now, not him now, uh, beating on me physically and cheating, and every man I got did the same thing. So what I had to do was go inside. It was me. It was not the guys. I had to go inside and examine what is it about me, the reason I am attracting these type of men. And let me tell y'all something. Soon as I went to the root of that problem, find out that the root of the problem was me, men like that stopped approaching me. They stopped approaching me no more no good men, y'all. They did, and I and I and I, I demand respect, and I got a new respect. And I want to say this to you too, Arian. I'm just because I know you know you're hurting. You really felt like 
you were going to get this man. You felt like you was in competition with another man's wife. You felt like this man loved you. But that's part of his persona. The charming, and they do a lot of lies, and they're very charming, and they're handsome, and you believe everything they're saying. Anyway, you guys, the thug's passion is a thug, yo, thing. You better examine that, ladies. Examine it. Who is that? You're watching Hey Girl Hey. She is interviewing Martel. Martel has said he didn't seem to like y'all. He got a Jesus moment that he wants to be a better uh, ex-husband and a better co-parent. But anyway, he talks about how hurt he is of losing Melody. Mm -hmm. And I feel that, too. It's been like um, over a year uh, for us um, of hurt. You know, yeah. you, you, you got to hurt, you know, um, and I, I'll be real. I'll be real about it all. Um, when God started putting me through tough situations, I laughed. I mean, not as because it was comical, only because I knew mm -hmm. that I, it's like I was prepared for. I knew it had to happen. It was inevitable. Right. So, uh, when you put yourself through certain situations in life, when you're going to go through it, you don't know how you're going to go through it. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna you're gonna need you're gonna need some strong people around you to to see your group, you know. So if you could have done anything different, considering everything that you know has happened, what would you have what would you have done differently? Because you know we have we are in different mental spaces when these things, yeah. right? So you knowing what you know and you knowing where you were. Then, what would you have done differently? I would have um, accepted certain things um, mm -hmm. that my wife wasn't wasn't doing. Okay. Do you follow what I'm saying? It's Ariane. It's a lot of people talking about Ariane on there. That that is my um son's mother. Uh, my son, not. Nah. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh no, you good. Yeah. Do y'all see this man's car. facial expression? <laughs> yeah, they get out some comments now. All I was right. Gonna, I was going to phone call. <laughs> All right, then look, I'll see you next time. Turn it guys. back so y'all can see his facial expression. Whole expression change when she asked him who was Arian. Also, he said he had all his kids with him. He was talking about Melody kids. As if he didn't have a fifth kid. That that is my um son's mother. Um, my son, not. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh no, you good? <laughs> that that is my um son's mother. Um, my son, not. Look at him, y'all. Cold okay, as hell. I'm him. sorry. He can't stand oh, no, area right now. <laughs> I, I'm going to tell y'all something about Martel. Right now, he can't stand Arian because she got that baby by him, and he no longer has his family. So him being the type of personality that he has, he's blaming Melody. Not Melody, but Who Coastline. Who is Arian, Martel? They said you dumped Arian. Who is that? Who is Arian? It's a lot of people talking about Arian on there. That that is my um son's mother. Um, my son, not. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no, you good? <laughs> hey girl, I, hey, you I, know, I, you, I you know, you know. That was that yeah, was tricky. Yeah. All right, one more time, y'all. Hey girl, hey, she getting it, man. That's too far over. Well. My Man in a wheelchair trying to talk to me. Yeah, I 
come down here. I want to talk about my pill when I get in the car, y'all. But I'm having an adventurous day. First, the first stop, they trying to put me in one of the damn nursing home beds. That's the first stop. Now, this stop right here, hell, the lady sick, right? Yeah. Can y'all see me? Yeah, it might be glary because I got, I got, I got a dry, a lip dry. Now, this shit ain't right. I get in there. I'm taking care of the lady. She's sick. She was real sick. Well, her insulin level was low. Oh, she need her insulin shot. I gave her insulin shot and, and gave her some juice. But anyway. They both in a wheelchair now. Now the husband, I don't know, I just feel like it may not be. He gone, he in a wheelchair. He was following me all out to the damn car. He threw her away on the over oh, on the porch in a wheelchair. So I'm thinking he's being nice. So I go down. You know, he said, okay, I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm gonna follow you out to the car to the front door. I get to the front door, y'all. He's trying. He wants my number. I tell none of y'all, man. I ain't got damn wants my damn number. Excuse me for cussing, y'all. I'm sorry. He want my number. Now let me tell y'all something. He in a wheelchair, right? Want my number and got a wife. Him and his wife been married sixty some years. And he, and, and he, and, and, and I'm like, well, he, he had me with my number, like, we've been married 60 some years. And he been messing around on her. He another Martell, probably. Yeah, he been messing around on her. Tell my son, like, yeah, give me your number. Like, how the hell you think I'm going to give you my goddamn number? Excuse me for cussing, y'all. I need to stop cussing for that. Damn, where am I ever lost, y'all? Okay, let me turn around, y'all. I gotta get out of the mood. But anyway, he said he want my number, right? Now I'm not giving this man my number. This man got a pamper on. You can hear the pamper rattling in the goddamn cell. How the hell he up there shooting and pissing on himself and he think I want to rap for him? Hell no. I don't want no man that, that wearing pampers. That's what we women as a senior citizen has to go through. You in good health, but Okay y'all. This is my last stop, but y'all been having a good time with me today. <laughs> On the road with uh with with, with, with grandma. Look y'all. Look, this is my last time. I'm so tired of this. My daughter, I, my daughter bought me some uh, Patty LaBelle uh, oils. It's the oil. It smells good. But somehow I can't keep these men off me today, you guys. These old men. Uh, okay, y'all know about the man that kind of rap to me. The 90 something year old man trying to two time his, his woman. With a pepper on, rattling up the rat. <laughs> and here the pepper is a come. Well, I'm just, now I just left this other house. Um, this is my last stop, but this other house I just left. At the next stop sign, he turn left. He looked to me too. Now he was a little bit, he young, about two years younger than me, but he in, the, um, in this high rise citizen. Shit. Hell, I got this is the uh, oh y'all I gotta quit cussing so much. Let me just count them. Yeah, I guess it's the Patty LaBelle perfume. All these men. I mean for real though, y'all. And, and this one right here, the house I just left. Okay, he said, okay, this I, I said uh sir. At the stop sign, turn left onto yeah, Fairburn Road I'm Southwest. Come out here and do an assessment on you that you know you they feel like you've been getting a little bit of, of the Alzheimer's. He go down to the store and can't find his way back home. Hell, shit. Uh -huh. Now, but he ain't forgot that he like women, though. Now, this one's single. I can't, okay, thank you. 
In 1.3 miles, turn right onto Campbellton Road Southwest. Y'all hear the uh, GPS? Oh yeah, that's my girl. What's her name? Mamie uh, West? No, Gladys West. The one that did the GPS. I'm not gonna keep y'all long. I'm gonna hang up so I I can drive right. But let me tell y'all about about this last one. I have a, he trying to rap to me now. He, he, he got, said so he got authorized to stay in a high rise apartment. In fact, I'm two years younger than him. He looked like Tupac. He's an old man that looked like Tupac. His body looked in good condition, but something ain't right in the head. Cause he'll go down there and down the street and get lost, you know. I, I think Alzheimer was in it. But Alzheimer was setting in. But in a way, he ain't forgot he like women, shit. He's talking about, you smell good, baby. That's what he said. And I said, well, I got my daughter bought this Patty LaBelle uh, thing for her. And he said, well, you know, uh, can we go out? Oh, no. Hell no. Because I can see that pamper, too. I saw that little blue. The little, he got his pamper is blue. We call them trucks. He, he got on. I don't want no man with no pamper on, y'all. When you get old, you don't have, what's gonna happen with me? I'm a singer lady, I'm acting, and uh, all these old men with their pampers and shit trying to rap to me. What At the next slide, turn right. It's bad enough, we both got to put our false teeth out on, on the table at night. Hell, I don't have two cents. I got my full set at the bottom. Oh yeah, y'all, I, um, yeah, I go, uh, I, I order my teeth, or whatever you call it, not order my teeth, y'all know what I'm trying to say. I go to the dentist on the 6th for my, for my, get my teeth fitted, but anyway, I don't want no man like that, but anyway, he don't try to rap to me, this, uh, this, this guy, this last guy. At the light, turn right, onto Campbellton Road, Southwest. He got damn pot. He got a commode over there, hey, oh, no, I didn't know. Oh, hell no. Uh-uh. What we gonna be doing at night time? All right, y'all. Y'all have a great day. I'm finna get in this Atlanta trap and it's too heavy. But, uh, I hope this adventure right here, I hope... <laughs> I don't want now another man with no pamper on trying to rap to me. Yeah, he had one on and I guess he didn't... And he'd still be using the bedside commode. Well, at least he don't do it on himself because he wanted me on his commode. Oh, what the hell I going to do? Said I did nice for my man today was help your goddamn bedside commode. Now, y'all know I love y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. I done had y'all out with me all day long. And that Martel Hope, I'm still thinking about his PSA, y'all. Bye. All these, I'm running into a lot of Martel Hope. In they 80s and 90s, in pampers and still peeing on they self, trying to cheat on they women. Bye, y'all. I got, look at this traffic. Look at all this traffic. Y'all see that, don't y'all? Look at that. Y'all see all this traffic? I got to hang up. Bye.